I'm here with Katie Webb for the first of our key worker interviews. Katie trained as a paediatric nurse. And so Katie, do you want to explain what you do for your job at the moment? Sure. So I work at Acorns Children's Hospice and I'm based in Warsaw and I've been there for nearly 10 years now. And do you want to explain for those people who don't know the kind of care needs and conditions that the children have? Mm -hmm. So to meet the criteria for Acorns, all our children, which is 0 to 18, uh, they all have either life limiting condition or life threatening condition. So they can be quite poorly, quite unstable, um, with a huge variety of different needs. But um, I believe that the, uh, the current pandemic's changed the kind of work that you're doing. So do you want to uh, say something about uh, the changes uh, to your work at the moment? Mm -hmm. So obviously quite early on in the COVID-19 pandemic, there, all our families were told that the children obviously meet the criteria for staining for 12 weeks for shielding uh, because they are very vulnerable and um, are at risk of becoming quite unwell. So obviously that changed acorns quite a lot in that they stopped all respite care, which is primarily what we do day to day. We are still open for emergencies and for end of life care, but it has changed quite a lot in that we're just not having as many children in. So acorns, had to kind of look at how they wanted to uh, go ahead and how we best support the NHS and our families as well. So their approach has been to take um, some of the children who are currently in hospital for whatever reasons and to try and get them out of hospital into a bit of a safer environment into the hospice where they're less likely to pick up um, some of the bugs that are going around. So we've had some of the long-term um, children out of hospital into the hospice so that's been one aspect that we've been able to help with and the other is to provide some support to all our families in the area uh, so we cover the whole of the West Midlands so uh, there's a lot of need out there for families who are stuck in and can't get supplies whether that be food or medication and it involves us calling around the families on a regular basis to make sure they're okay to see what they need and we've also had huge amount of donations from the um, local community of food just for our families so that's um, involved us packing up um, bags and taking them out and delivering them and drop them on the doorstep for the families which are really grateful for. Great and um, also because of the uh, because there's not as much work at, at the hospice at the moment there's also additional community work going on isn't it so do you want to explain something about the, the care packages that you're involved with because you're doing some agency work to look after children who are at home so do you want to say something about that? Yep. So last year I joined a nursing agency just for when the times when we um, just need that extra bit of income and it's quite flexible in the amount of hours that I want to do and where I want to do it and who it's with. So I did do a couple last year but it's only really been over the last few weeks that I've really kind of got stuck into it and um, got involved with different packages. There's been a few local, but the agency covers the whole of the UK. So it has involved a lot of traveling. Um, so I've, I've been down to Fleet near Farnborough and more, the last couple of weeks I've been up to a package in, in Sheffield. And it's, it's just supporting the families um, who have children at home that just need some extra support with nursing care, mainly night shifts, which allow the family to sleep. Um, whilst we care for their children because it is a round the clock job to care for some of these children with quite a high level of medical need. Great it's good for people to know that um, as we um, pray for and think about our um, health care professionals in the NHS that there's also a lot serving outside the NHS with charities and with agencies as well as those um, uh, full-time carers of parents that you're supporting through this the community work as well so are there ways that we can pray for you at the moment and uh, people in a similar position that you're in yeah that'd be great um i guess because it is different for me uh, it's community work so i'm used to working obviously in the hospice with a team where we work together really well we're a really good team at acorns and um obviously you've kind of got that support 
around you. So it's very different in a community when you're by yourself, you have to make decisions and uh, by yourself and, and care for this child who you don't really know. Um, you kind of get a bit of a half an hour handover at the beginning and then it's all down to paperwork and reading through that. So just pray that um, I'm careful and um, I, yeah, I guess I'm protected um, the, and the children are, are safe and I guess just do the job to the best of my ability, which I've really enjoyed doing actually. It's taken me out of my comfort zone and give me a bit of confidence in, in doing a job I know I can do in a just, just in a different setting. Um, and obviously that applies for all those who are going out into the community. Um, so yeah, I guess for protection in the home, that'd be, that'd be great. And um, also it'd be great if you could pray just for traveling mercies. It's a new thing for me, how to travel and commute that takes longer than seven minutes to get to work. So, you know, some of these packages are a little bit further away. So, um, for travel mercy, especially after my night shift. And yeah, if you've got any good podcast suggestions, send them my way. And uh, good to remember as well, of course, you've served as, as a foster carer, that uh, because of the current pandemic, you're not <coughs> necessarily able to take on those responsibilities at the moment with placements and so it'd be good to remember in prayer as well those who um, are serving as foster carers as naturally that the, those care services will be stretched at the moment so okay to remember to, uh, to um, bring you before the Lord in prayer and to those who you're serving alongside those children you're serving in uh, the hospice and in the home care packages as well as the home care system both carers and uh, children alike so thank you thank you for your time Katie okay thank you